Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to spray Black Rabbit. I think it's gonna be needed. I think I wanna take the route of putting scales on it. So, if you have some kind of scale maker, there's so many different ones that I've, I've made that one. No, I didn't make this one. I'm coming out of the gates line. I made a different scale pattern, but it's for bigger lures. This one, you're gonna need some kind of scale pattern. Some kind of micro hole for your black dots. I have that one. I have different ones. I have this one. There's a couple of different ones. Just whatever you feel will work to make your black dots. On black crappy. Um, of course, our colors today is going to be white with the silver in it, silver, yellow, green gold, and this one here is folklore mixed with some other stuff that I put together. I added a little bit of red. It says purple and blue is probably kind of hard to see. Uh, I call it dark till the night. But what it does is it has a reflector bluish tint at certain angles. Like if you look at a black crappy's back, it has those reflective colors if you look close enough. But anyways, to get this show on the road, the very first thing you're gonna wanna do is paint the entire thing black. True black is the other color. Right, so what we're gonna do now 
please add our scales over white. Make sure it's on there good. This may be on for the next few coatings. Add 
gold or yellow. Just one drop of yellow should do it. You're gonna go down the sides. That was a question for you guys. What micro lore would you like to see me paint? Or what color pattern, I should say, would you like to see me paint? Or the sword. Closer to the bottom. I wonder if this can help you guys see. Hopefully I can help you see the yellow better.
may have to do two coats to get it to really show how you want it, depending on how transparent your silver mix is. It's done. Let's heat set that. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Bigger to the front, smaller to the back.
Okay.